Coming up today on American Outdoors, we take you to the Lombardy region of northern Italy and introduce you to Chiappa Firearms, part of the Italian Gun Consortium. Chiappa produces some of the finest modern and historical guns in the world, and today we'll take you on a factory tour. All that and more today on American Outdoors. Welcome to today's show. If you're looking for a fine firearm, no matter if it's a new black gun, maybe cowboy action, replica, or the rhino that maybe you've heard about, look no further than Chiapa. I'm here with Susanna. And Susanna, I tell you what, we've talked to Reno. We've seen your guns before. We've tried them. We're so impressed, you know. And we're real excited to be here in the presence of greatness when it comes to arms. Can you tell us a little bit about your company? Well, the company was founded back in 1958 from uh -huh. my father-in-law, and the family has been uh, growing with, with, uh, with the company and trying to do more uh, different products and, and going uh, towards the customers and what the customers is looking for. I tell you what, you have such an amazing lineup of guns. They just keep going and going and going. You have fine Western guns, mm -hmm. you have black guns, and you have that rhino, that's just an amazing, I think that was showcased in the uh, movie Total Recall? Yes, correct. That was a great feature for the product. Well, I tell you what, some amazing guns. We've had fun today here at the range mm -hmm. watching your specialist, and he has really brought these guns to life. He knows what he's doing, but mm -hmm. it's easy when you have fine firearms, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Well, that's good. Uh, do you get to shoot out yourself? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? You need to get out a little bit more because everybody needs to have fun. Well, I tell you, fine firearms, a lot of fun shooting. Can we go back and get a factory tour? Absolutely. Be. Just ahead, there's more fun with Kiapa Firearms, plus a high-tech factory tour. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Well, we're here at the facility for Chiapa, and joining me right now is Sylvia, Susanna, and Reno. And uh, we have some beautiful guns displayed behind us, just a small sampling of what they have to offer. Reno, I tell you what, very impressed with your facility. Very high tech, very beautiful, and very clean. Tell us a little bit about Chiapa. Uh, Chiapa is a very old company. Uh, my father started uh, in 1958. Uh, start with the black powder is uh, one of the first uh, manufacturer in Ita in Italy start with this uh, family of product and uh, I come in the company with my father uh, 25 years ago and uh, I improve each day a little bit a little bit in technology in new machine new process and in the last 10 years we change a little bit our our line of production uh, we move our line of production from black powder to modern guns. Also replica, but in caliber, tw caliber 22 or in caliber uh, blanks and, and signal pistol. And you really have quite a bit in a way of offering. You have the replica guns, you have the black guns, and you also have pistols. Yes. Um, in the last five years, we improved very, very fast uh, in 22, 22 caliber. We see in the uh, US uh, market the request is uh, very high and uh, we move uh, all the production in 22. Now we have uh, M1, the, the perfect copy of the M1 in, cali in caliber 22, the M4, M4 pistol, M4 rifle, carbine and rifle, and uh, we made also a copy of the pistol, 1911, uh, M9, and uh, also single action. Well, we just came from the range. We had an opportunity to shoot the M4 carbine. A lot of fun and just some really great action. Yeah, the M4 is uh, one of the first product we made in 22. Our first idea is made just the upper for the M4 military spec upper, and we start uh, with this uh, with this product, and we see a very good uh, request from the U.S. market, and we introduce very fast all the rifle complete in different in different version. Well, I tell you what, you did a fine job, and all of that created here within Chiapa, and most of that begins in your CAD department. Can we begin a tour? Can Suzanne show us your CAD department to start off? Absolutely, yes. We, our our uh, characteristic in our company is uh, 
the mentality my father uh, teach me is uh, try to make inside in the company. Our, our, you can see when you, when you see all our uh, company, uh, we produce 100% of the parts inside in the company. Also, finishing, we have a finishing department, we have a, a lay department, milling and uh, injection. We produce uh, absolutely 100% of the production inside. Well, you know, that, that is really nice because you can do everything self-contained. We notice you even have your own bluing, and also you do uh, work for outside companies as well, so you must be doing some fine quality work. Yes, uh, we started with the bluing uh, process and nickel process, uh, uh, parkerizing. Many years ago, my father started. Now we have a, a, a specific company because the company improved, the process improved, and we have many customers from automotive uh, market. And uh, we made uh, approximately 15 tons per day just uh, bluing. That is just amazing. Well, let's get started with the tour. Okay. Up next, a high tech factory tour at Kiapa. We'll be back. After the break. Now, Susanna, this is really where it all begins, isn't it? Yes, exactly. This is really the core of the company. And uh, every new project is uh, starting from, from this place. Uh, we are designing all our products on three dimension, And we are probably one of the first companies in Italy uh, in the gun manufacturing business using the three-dimension uh, drawing. We started back uh, about 20 years ago. Wow. And uh, we are really now using this system for everything we, we design. So an idea comes into the company, and um, then you get together and kind of collaborate, and then this is the first step. Exactly. We, we start designing the product, and we see the changes we need to do on the computer, and we improve the initial design from here. Then we, we go from this step to a prototype in resin, uh, which will give us uh, the physical uh, possibility to touch the product and see if we still have to do other changes. From that point, then we go to the steel prototyping. Really, what you have here is uh, the resin, and then once it was good, you went to the metal. Exactly. So this is the first step. Then we go to the metal, metal uh, prototype, and then we have the mold done with the finished product. And you have your own molds here. I notice you have storage of molds and molds and molds, yes. and those are expensive, aren't they? Very expensive. <laughs> they they are, can be up to $200,000 per mold. Right. It depends on the dimension, but they are, can be quite expensive. Bill, this is um, another part that is giving us a complete view of what is going on into our production and in, in the complete uh, process. When we receive an order, um, this man will um, uh, evaluate which parts we, we need to run into production and will plan on machines, on, uh, on the assembly stations, the time needed, the machines that are needed for that particular part. So we always know uh, how long it will take to complete an order to give a correct answer to the customer about the time of delivery and keep uh, track on the machines of what we are doing and what is necessary. So Bill, here is where the machine is checking the dimension of the original drawing on the final piece. So we are sure that the, the final piece will comply with the, with the dimension we, we wanted to see. So one of the first of many checks that are, take place here at Chiapa. Yes, so this is one of the touch screen stations that we have all over the company where our worker may check the status of each machine, in this case CNC machines, and we can see immediately the status of the production. We can see the green on the machine that are running on the proper timing, and the red is uh, immediately noticing us that we have problems on one machine. So one quick glance, you can tell what the entire floor here is doing. Exactly. Now, Susanna, in my hand here, a solid block of aluminum. What are we making at this stage? Well, we are working on a rhino frame, and um, we are taking off a lot of material from that piece. So this is the final uh, result on the machine. It's pretty nice that the computer can com communicate with the CNC machine to get this kind of work done. Yes, amazing. 
I just had to stop you here because one of my favorite uh, weapons is the sharps. And what we have here is the, the stage is progressing from a solid piece. Is that correct? So you, you can see how, how much material we have to remove to make from a solid piece the actual finished uh, receiver for a sharp. So there is a lot of work into one single piece and all, our, all of them are CNC machines. So this is our tool shop. We have an uh, older technology here, but um, this is what we use for maintenance to make our new prototypes when we need to do some little adjustment or uh, change our fixture to put on the CNC machines. This is what we mean when uh, we tell we start from the beginning. So you see, we start from the lingot, we put the lingot in, a, in the oven, and the machine will uh, push into the mold the liquid material to melt uh, the piece that we are willing to make. That is just amazing. And I noticed you're making some cylinders there. You have inserts that are in inserted in so when it comes out it's really complete exactly so the, the cylinder is coming out from the machine completely finished re ready for the external finish the liners that we put into the machine are chambered and finished so there's no additional work to do on the on the parts once they are coming out from the machine bill here we can see how we polish our wood so we feed metal and wood together uh, when they are raw and polish them together so we have a nice fit. Then we disassemble the parts and finish the wood with oiling and finish the metal parts. And then uh, we number them so we recognize each single piece going back to the original stock. And then we put them together once they are finished. You know, that's a nice step to ensure a perfect fit. Yes, that's what we are used to do since uh, the beginning of our production. Bill, here you can see the polishing of the metal. Uh, here we are polishing some barrels uh, of the sharp trifles. Everything is done by, by hand. So, um, again, we try to do the best polishing, the best finish we can on all our products. So you make the barrels here and you also end up finishing and polishing them here as well. Exactly, exactly. Bill, here we can see some round barrel polishing, which is a different process than the octagon barrel that we were seeing before. Bill, this is the drying room for our stocks, so we can have a faster process into the uh, several hands of oil that we are going through. We should wait uh, several days to, to have the process finished. Through the aid of state-of-the-art technology, our parts have been produced, they're awaiting to be assembled, we'll witness some beautiful craftsmanship when we return. Susanna, it looks like a number of people hard at work. What do we have here? Well, here we have the handgun assembly process. So we have a manager that will feed all the station here with the parts they need. So the workers will have a very high efficiency, not moving around in the factory looking for the parts they need. So they stay focused on, on their job, and uh, each of them will have a little part of the same gun assembled. So once they turn around the table, we will have the finished product coming in here. Can you tell us what's going on here, Susanna? Uh, well, we are fitting uh, metal to wood to be sure that we have a perfect fit on the finished product. So he will be checking if uh, wood need to be removed to have a perfect fit. And boy, that's really your signature look is that perfect finish. You know, the fit is just so nice and tight. That extra time really makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yes, and we feel uh, it's really important to keep it uh, going in this way to have the kind of uh, smooth and finish. Uh, surface that we have on, on the, our product. Susanna, what do we have going on here? Well, we have the Rhino assembly station here. So we have a very important uh, piece of our production. Uh, the Rhino is having a great success and uh, we are really proud of this product. And uh, I can understand why it's such a cool gun and you make it in different versions as well. Yes, we have two, four, five and six inches and uh, we have the blue finish and the chrome finish 
version. Now we are now coming with a gold finish as well. Wow. I can understand why it's been a big hit. You know, it's uh, just an amazing gun and uh, it's amazing qualities. He's checking the weight of the trigger pull. And what do you set it at, around four? Yes. Well, this gentleman's hard at work, uh, smaller caliber. What's he working on? Well, he's um, doing the final assembly on a little sharps. Uh, we have uh, very many different calibers on this product, uh, starting from 22 LR. And uh, we, we, in this particular product, we have the, the 17 Hornet, which is a brand new caliber, very, uh, becoming very popular in the U.S. Uh, but the, this gun is also available in many other calibers, like 30-30, 38-55, 45 Long Colt, uh, 218B, and uh, many others that I, I don't remember. <laughs> Bill, here we have the hardening process. So um, this guy is now um, taking off of the oven some parts that have been hardened that will cool up in the water. Wow, you can feel the heat from that oven. Yes, it's about 80, 850 degrees. And so the hardening process is very essential, isn't it? Absolutely. We need to be very careful about the hardening of the parts to be sure that they will not break being too fragile. Now, Susanna, here we are back in your showroom, and we have something new for 2013. Long Picatinny rail on it. Tell us what we have. Well, this is the M4 Pro Series. It's still a 22. We wanted to give uh, some more appeal to, for the strong shooters, and we have um, the long Picatinny, we have a heavy barrel, we have a, a complete steel bolt, and a collapsible stock. Susanna, I tell you what here, very recognizable, an oldie but a goodie. It looks like we found it at an Army-Navy store, but this is actually a brand new replica of the M1. Yes, this is our brand new M122. We, we took an original M1, and we wanted to replicate as close as possible to the original. Well, you know, this is kind of fun having it in a 22. The original M1 Garand kicked like a Missouri mule, and this is going to be fun to shoot, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. It is fun. Now, Susanna, we saw the grips of this gun being made on the floor. What do we have? This is the brand new single action 1022. So we, we had already into our production uh, line the single action six shot. Now we have that uh, this is a brand new product, uh, 10 shot single action. So more fun. Will be more fun, Ex exactly. So uh, this is just um, an addition with some different uh, kind of finish. So we will have uh, the black and chrome, we will have the black and gold. We will have the black with ivory grips and the black with the wooden checkered grips. Several variations for the choice of the customer. The Rhino. We, we were able to shoot the gun downstairs. All of us were very impressed. We shot the two-inch version, but you have four models. Is that correct? Yes, correct. And we have the four, five, and six inches as well. And they are all great to shoot. And uh, as you were saying, women loves shoot our Rhino because of the uh, reduced recoil feeling that you have because of the bottom positioning of the barrel. And what calibers? We have 357, 9 millimeter, and 4 uh, 40s mid and western. Okay, and I think we shot the 357, 357 downstairs. Yeah. Okay. And again, if they want a shorter compact, that you have, offer the 2 inch version, which is perfect. Yes, yes, that's uh, the perfect um, carry, carry, concealed carry model. And, you know, as I understand, you sell these as fast as you can make them. Yes, yeah. <laughs> My favorite buddy, John Wayne, is here. If he was here right now, he would say, I think you better get a Kiapa Pilgrim. And I tell you what, there's a lot of wisdom in that. You make such unique weapons and a signature look. People can have something new and different in their collection. 
at, with the highest quality standards available anywhere in the world. And I tell you what, this has been one of the most fabulous factory tours we've ever had on the show. And we do more factory tours in the United States than any other television show. And we really like the cleanliness of your factory, the modern, the CNC, and the assortment of weapons that you have. And with that said, right now, I know you have the attention of all of our viewers out there. What is the best way for them to learn more about Kiapa? Do you have a website, Susanna? Yes, our website is kiapafirearms.com, where you can find all the products that we carry. Easy enough. Well, Reno? Thank you very much. Susanna? Thank you. Thanks so much for being on. No matter if you're looking for a black gun, cowboy action, or unique signature one-of-a-kind gun to add to your collection, Kiapa Firearms will deliver. It all begins by design. In Kiapa's case, that means computer-aided design. Follow that with a state-of-the-art production facility. That means components of these guns are made with reliability and precision and are made to last. Any way you look at it, Kiapa says excitement from their famous rhino to their guns of the Old West. Kiapa will give you a gun that's fun to shoot for decades and decades to come.